going? Mine, mine. Welcome back, mine, to ordinary mine, mine adventures. Mine. But he's, he's not even talking. Mine, mine. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ordinary adventures. Today, we're getting off the ship and we're going to Catalina Island, an island that we have never been to, even though it's only 30 miles off of the California coast. It's a charming little town, and we're going to explore it on a golf cart. Yeah, we're also going to, of course, try some food. There are some world famous drinks that were invented here in Catalina Island that we're also going to have. We might even buy some cool tie-dye matching sweatshirts. <laughs> Who knows? Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> We're gonna make our way over to Catalina Island and we're actually taking a tender boat. Instead of docking at a port, you have to take a little boat that brings you to the island. We've both never been to Catalina before and I've actually never been on a tender boat before, so I'm like weirdly excited. Usually when you go to a port, you get off on like this long walkway that brings you to the land. This time we're on a boat and you've never done that. So that's gonna be fun. I'm on a boat. That's what I'm gonna say when I'm on the boat. Guess what? It's Wednesday. But this Wednesday we get to spend it on an island. Catalina Island. How often do you get to say that? Right. Look, that's the ship quarters. That's where like this is like the main thoroughfare of where all the crew members go. Going downstairs. Oh, God, why is it so fun? <laughs> Look, there's the island right there. Yeah, it's so cool. It, it almost looks like a foreign country, even though we're like still in California. <laughs> it's almost like we're like in Italy or something. Yeah. I'm on a boat. <laughs> I once did a tender from a Disney cruise and it was in a much smaller boat. I don't think there was a top. I think you could actually see everything. Like it was like a normal boat. So this one holds 200 people. It's a much bigger ship. Look how big the boat looks. No, so crazy. Cause it doesn't feel that way when you're on it. Yeah. But then seeing it, you're like, we're on a floating hotel. <laughs> Scary. Oh, there's the water slide. Yep. Is that the one you went on yesterday? Yeah, I went on that one. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was like so close to the edge like that. Yeah, you were over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is! Dang! <laughs> So the town on here is called Avalon. That's where we're going today. I love that it's kind of like surrounded by fog. It's so mysterious here. I woke up like around 6 or 7 a.m. and we were, I think, docking around 8 and it was just all fog and I could just hear the horn, like the captain like just going because he didn't want to like run into anyone or run into the island or whatever. <laughs> so it's just cool to like emerge to this beautiful place. Okay, let's go explore. Yes. Oh, God, my worst fear. <laughs> what? I'm more scared of like these big kelp forests than I am of like a great white shark in the ocean. Whoa. Like if I were to fall down into that kelp, like these go down and down and down and it's like literally like a forest under the water. Yeah, but a great white like, shark will eat you. I mean, it won't really, but it I mean, could. It might. Yeah. But I'm more scared of that. Is what yeah. I'm saying. Look at the ship from here. I know. This is so incredible. It's so just, cool. It's so picturesque. I love cruising. <laughs> it fun. is cool that you get to see a bunch of different places. And one day we're going to cruise around the world. <laughs> if we can afford that. It's only $60,000. The only problem is we have dogs, so we need to make them service animals yeah. so they can come with us. I don't think that's going to happen. So it seems like right at the cruise port is where you can take off in a semi-submarine, do like helicopter tours, boat
boat tours. There's a bunch of stuff over here. It looks like we are here. This is the port. We're gonna make our way over here to the side of the island. There's a thing called the casino over there. Oh, there it is. The casino. Oh my God, it's not there's really... giant birds here. <laughs> here. <laughs> and look at that. It's called Wrigley Road. Do you know why it's called Wrigley Road? Because the gum? Yes, the guy is that it? owned the gum, William Wrigley Jr., is the guy that bought this island. Oh, wow. And I'm for a bunch of years, uh, he owned the Cubs, the Chicago Cubs, and they would do their spring training on the island. Yeah. That's awesome. And they would just get like unlimited free gum when they came here. <laughs> I'm sure the they. Gum grows on the trees here. Is that what you're telling me? Look, they got beaches, casino building, chamber of commerce, churches, city hall, a bunch of boring stuff. Wrigley Memorial. Hmm. I think we're most interested in getting some food. Yeah. We have a few places that hopefully are open that we want to check out. So let's get to yeah. it. I also want to see that giant bird. I know. We got to find the giant birds. <laughs> You can rent your snorkel gear and wetsuits right over there. Welcome to Catalina Island. <laughs> the island that is the most beautiful island in the world. There's giant birds here. Do you see there's a sea lion right below you? Yes, that's my best friend. His name is Bob. Welcome. Have a great time. Thank you. I will. Bye bye now. Kitra, where are you? Kitra, I met a mermaid. Here's a little bit of the look of Catalina. Is that the casino right there? Yeah. The casino building? Yeah. I think it's actually like a movie theater or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if we can make our way all the way over there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that as a goal today. We got to get back here by five because that's when they close down going back to the yeah, ship. And if we don't get back to the ship, we're stuck here. I mean, I wouldn't mind being stuck here. <laughs> But Honestly, yeah. that's usually a bigger deal, but we're yeah. literally on an island off, that, off of where we live. <laughs> I know, so. I was actually thinking about that earlier. I was like, well, if we didn't make it, we could just go back to California and it'd be pretty easy. I Although, know. all our luggage and all our I know, stuff. don't worry, we'll make it back. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Normally you see like a basketball court or something, but it's a volleyball court. I was like, why is there sand in the basketball court? But it's because it's volleyball. Yeah, that's why. Look at, Look at this playground. <laughs> wow, we're so entertained by like everything today. <laughs> it is more themed than it should be, right? Yeah, I want to go climb on that whale. Oh, look at there's like a buffalo or something, a bison. Because oh yeah, there's bison here on the island. Oh. Do you know that because they they filmed a movie here with bison and they left them here. Oh. This is a golf cart, one of the golf cart rental places. So we just want to go check out the prices. Scene tour takes an hour to complete with minimal stopping. Okay. We are right here. The yellow that you see on the map is a scenic route that I'll go over with you if you decide to rent. One hour to complete with minimal stopping, which is all you commit to. You can get your full deposit back if you decide to go longer with pro rate from the deposit. So I think we're going to go in town and get some food before we do the golf cart thing. I think we're going to do the golf cart thing, but we need some cash. Uh, but it's so funny, Alex was an ordinary adventure I know. watcher. I know! It always surprises me, like the places that we go that isn't like Galaxy's Edge that people recognize us. <laughs> they have a bunch of different shops selling Catalina merchandise. Your new thing is to get t-shirts from wherever we go. Yeah, So do you need one. a Catalina t-shirt? Yeah, I'll have to pick one out. That is what? my new thing. I forgot, I forgot. What about this one? It has sandals. No, it has flip-flops. We all know that I love my flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a map of the island. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of good choices. Yeah. That one says saltwater heals everything. Catalina, California. <laughs> Over here, they have a bunch of hats. I just saw this one. It's kind of like a bucket hat, but it has a back to it. So yeah, it cools it off the back of your neck. I don't need it. I'm not, I'm not going that. I mean, it doesn't say Catalina Island on it. Catalina wine mixer. That's from Step Brothers, right? Yeah. By the way, did you know that there wasn't a Catalina wine mixer? And then after that movie, it's one. now an annual event here. Yeah, why don't we come every year? We should. Start a new tradition. I would totally, yeah, I think you should get that. Uh, they got like a surfboard storage. So if you're a local, you can just store your surfboard by the water. By the way, how many people did we hear live here? Um, I think he said around like... 4,500 or something? That seems like a lot of people. It does. That was way more than I was expecting. Yeah. But this is like the main town, I think, called Avalon. This is the main strip of the main town right here. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Catalina Republic. That's contender, right? 
They're all contenders. <laughs> look at, look, there's Santa skiing. Why is he skiing? Look at all the Cubs stuff because of Wrigley. Oh yeah, so all those who enter threads must wear a proper breathing mask on. No shoes, no shirt, no mask, no entry. Also, I am your father. This town is just so cute. I feel like we should come back here. Listen, like, I say this, I feel like I keep saying this, but I really want to get a vacation home here. <laughs> <laughs> I say this everywhere we go. I'm like, we should get a yeah. second home here as if we could even yeah, afford no, a second can't. home. No second home. But uh, yeah, I would like to come back here. If you guys want to see us come back here again, let us know in the comments because we don't have that much time today. Yeah. Like there's so much more to see, you know what I mean? It's just so beautiful. Okay, let's go uh, find some food. Yeah, well, we gotta eat. Look, on this side of the pier, they got like a little beach. <laughs> they have like a little Christmas photo op by that. Uh... Oh God, we gotta go get our photo there. <laughs> We heard there's like a submarine thing you can do here and it looks like that's right over there. I wish we had more time. Don't invite a bird to lunch. Please don't feed the birds. See, even there's even more signs about those giant birds. They're like, don't do it. <laughs> they keep a, keep on attacking the people of Catalina. We need to make them go away. Don't do it, people. Come on. <laughs> look at this cute little Christmas tree in the center of town. Look at Santa on his plane. <laughs> Santa on his seaplane. He's got to deliver the present somehow. He should be on a boat. He should. You're right. I could hear one of the birds. It's up in one of these trees. It's coming to get us. <laughs> What'd you find? Uh, I, I found like a candy shop or something. <laughs> Well, we need to eat real food first. Yeah, but. we get we get easily distracted here at Ordinary Adventures. There's the smell coming out of it. It smells so good. Do you smell that? Yeah. Do you smell that? Look at the lanterns on the ceiling. It's almost like candy, candy apples. Not only do they have giant birds here, they have giant ice cream. What is going on <laughs> on Catalina? Keep it away from the birds. <laughs> yeah. Small town, but they have multiple candy stores. And this one sells Wrigley's gum. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah. There's a place here called Topless Tacos. What does that mean? No, we're not going there. Come on. Is that like a Hooters? Just keep it going. What, what, what does it mean oh, to we're be- We're not finding out. But you want toppings on your tacos. Yeah, so we don't want to go there. It's official. We love this place. <laughs> the Aficionados Gallery. Fish art. Is that aficionado. your gallery? Yes, I'm an aficionado. Well, I just found your t-shirt. Fish art. I just found your t-shirt. You did? Yeah, right over here. This one that says, don't be jelly? Uh, yeah, it's yes. for children, Peter. <laughs> yes. That is cool. Oh my God, I want to go in that. Don't be jelly, honey. Oh, look at this one. They got a, it has Catalina Island all across the street. All, all across the shirt. There's a whole art gallery dedicated to fish. Aficionado. <laughs> You've heard this place has some awesome food. It's called the Naughty Fox. It's in a hotel. So this doesn't seem like it's been here for that long. It seems like a newer kind of place. And I'm not sure exactly what's good, but I looked in Yelp and all the food looks fantastic. So we're gonna, oh, they got a cookie sampler. Oh geez. <laughs> Would you say that's an Ordinary Adventures pro tip? Always look on Yelp. Yes. <laughs> Yelp is very helpful. It is, it, you discover so many like places that you would never think of. Like, if we didn't look on Yelp, we would have just stopped at the first place we saw, but, you know, this place seems cool. Yeah, so they have the lunch menu, and then they also have Brookie, the Brookie menu. As soon as I saw the menu, I knew that I had to order the lobster BLT. This comes with beer-battered lobster tail, avocado, lettuce, tomato, spicy aioli, and some kind of chili sauce. And then as my side, I got potatoes which I which also has that spicy sauce on top as well they look so good what I wasn't expecting is I wasn't expecting two sandwiches like I have like two full like lobster roll looking sandwiches here like this is so much I'm definitely gonna have to have to get... well technically this is like one slice of bread and one slice of bread so they just broke a sandwich it's just two. a lot of food okay like yeah. we over ordered I think or we hadn't eaten breakfast or anything so we kind of just like went crazy so but ugh, this smells so good which one do I try? Do I try this one? Do I try this one? Try this one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, even the bread? Look at that. Oh, it looks nice mm, and toasted. Yum. It's like a, like a Texas toast.
ghost kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I've ever had beer battered lobster before, but that alone is just so decadent and tasty. And then that bread, you guys. You're so good at picking restaurants. <laughs> I always leave it up to him because he always finds the most like just interesting, amazing restaurants. So good job. What would you give this dish? This gets a five out of five. This is amazing. Ordinary Adventures pro tip, when you go to a restaurant, ask your waiter, what is the best thing on the menu? If they don't say the most expensive thing, then maybe consider trying that. <laughs> this time, I, I took the waiter at his word of what the best thing was. And what I got was the quinoa and papaya salad. This has cucumber, carrots, mangoes, pears, avocado, scallions, and a lime miso vinaigrette. Yeah, this is totally not something I would typically get. And I got it with some blackened chicken on top. It's hard to describe because it's a very interesting mix of different like sweet fruits, but not like, none of the fruits are overpowering. It's kind of like the, um, if you've ever had a pear or a papaya, it's kind of subtle. Very good. I'm a big fan, I'm eating that today. Yeah. It's like nice and refreshing. Yes, it is. Yeah. So yeah, it looks thing, really good. I think the older I got, I had to have certain things to help me out. <laughs> I know, we need yeah, to start uh, up, taking that thing. advice. I'm over here like deep fried uh, lobster. Yeah. yeah, this is totally something I wouldn't normally get. Normally on vacation, I, you know, get the worst thing for me. <laughs> this is probably a nice uh, change of pace. I'll give it a four and a half out of five pieces. Wow. It's, it's up there. We got talked into ordering the mac and cheese, which I thought we were gonna order as a side, but it's huge. Yeah. It's a, its own <laughs> meal. And what this mac and cheese has is beer cheese sauce, which I'm skeptical on, white cheddar, bread crumbs, green onions, and we added bacon. Look at that. It looks pretty damn good. Yeah. I'm not a fan of beer cheese, so I don't know. Uh, I wish they had a, a smaller side, but. <laughs> Bacon -y. To be honest with you, I don't really taste the beer cheese. This is very good. It gives like um like a four out of five Peters. Wow. It's a solid choice. So if you come here and you don't want a lobster uh, BLT or you don't want this quinoa <laughs> salad, maybe the mac and cheese is the way to go. It's getting a little chilly here. So maybe while Kitra finds her t-shirt, I might have to find a sweatshirt. Catalina sweatshirt. What do you think? My new... <laughs> Your new island light where? Actually, I like it. Is it too big? No. Do a spin. That is so you. I see it in the mirror over there. I, I like it. Yeah, that is, you're such like a trendsetter. Well, you know, I try. I actually, I don't try. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might get it. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy you tried yeah. it on. How much is it? $80 billion. And I'm like, I can wear this one, you can wear that one? Do it. Yeah? Would that be like so cool? Yeah, we'd be the coolest people in the world. <laughs> Kayak, swim, relax, three things I don't do. I like that it's the same thing, but different colors. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna get it. You're gonna get it? Twins. Okay, twins. <laughs> oh, we missed this one right here. I feel like I've seen this logo before. <laughs> it feels so familiar. <laughs> A good one. Over here. They got pickle taffy, wow. and pickle bandages, and pickle playing cards, and pickle candy. Are pickles a thing in Catalina Island? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> you should get the taffy. Look at this. They even got pins. I mean, we don't need more pins, but they got pins. They got the casino. They got Catalina Island. Even got chapstick. Even got chapstick. <laughs> we did it. Yes! We are tourists <laughs> in California on a California island. I just love tie dye. So. Me too. Oh my god, and they're so nice and cozy. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I like. I really like. I feel like tie dye is like your thing. I just yeah. think you look great in it. Okay, let's see if we can rent a golf cart somewhere. There you go. The universe. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna driving Miss Daisy. Okay. All right. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. All right. All right, where are we going, my love? I don't know. Oh, look, our boat's behind you. I know, this is so fun. 
like I'm driving so slow. There's like another one behind me, but I guess I can't go any faster than this. So. <laughs> oh yeah, they're right behind us. <laughs> Okay, so on your left is water. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta look at this map. Find out what we're doing here. Oh, that's Lover's Cove over here. Right over here? So right, right over there is Lover's Cove, I guess. Alright, are we allowed to stop in Lover's Cove? I don't think so. Kids? Or actually, maybe not our Lover's Cove. Oh, maybe Lover's Cove is right around the corner, I think. Woo! <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Those people are passing you, honey. <laughs> the angry man was like mad that you were going so slow. Dude, I can't go any quicker. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, this is so much fun. Why is my golf cart so slow? It's probably because we're big. Take off your mask. Oh, yeah. There's a cruise ship in the mirror. Okay, so what you need to do is look on that map and find places that we can actually stop. <laughs> Well, I think where to go. right over here is Lover's Cove, I think. Oh, okay. And that's where I think people go snorkeling or something. Oh, no. Not us. So on this map, it shows like this road that's like, it's like zigzag. Are you going to be able to handle that? Yes. Yeah? I am. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a professional. Okay. Do I turn here or go straight? Go straight, I think. Straight, you think? Yeah, you go straight. Move out of my way! Woo! Oh, there's another speed bump, watch out. Speed bump, watch out. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to get lost in this island. This island's so small. I mean, you're not very good with a map, so. I'm fine with a map. Alright, is this where I have to turn? Yes. Oh, do I turn right? See, rental cars, that way. Okay, this is, this does look kind of scary. Are you, are you scared? I mean, hopefully it's not two-way traffic. Oh my god, it's going so slow. <laughs> well, we're going to go up here and there's going to be a zigzag road. So that's going to be the challenge. Yeah, hopefully I don't drive over the cliff. Does that look cool? You look, yeah, you look, look like the coolest. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the beginning of the zigzags that we were afraid of. You handle this. Yes. This is fun. I like that we bought the sweatshirts that say like hiking, kayaking. And we're like, <laughs> it should say golf carding. Golf carding, <laughs> golf carding cruise shipping, buffet eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this overlook here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't get close to that edge. I'm so happy we rented this golf cart. And it doesn't seem like there's much traffic up here. Like, yeah, we're the only one. Yeah. So it's not scary. I guess technically you could hike up here. That seems kind of crazy to me. I mean, it doesn't seem that crazy because there's so many people doing it, but. Look, there's the ship. Oh, there's the ship. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. I bet you a lot of people from Los Angeles, when they make like their day trip to Catalina, they come here to hike. Oh, for sure. Right? Yeah. That's just not us. Okay, so right here, you're gonna want to take a left up that hill. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> what if I did? <laughs> Don't do that. We could suck. Yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> it never listen to Peter. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Can you even tell? Yeah, look at that. Look at that view right there. It's so peaceful. Why are we the only? Why are we the only? <laughs> I, I saw don't know. so many earlier. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Look at the ship. Oh my god, you can like hear the music coming from the cruise ship. Can you listen? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, now we're going downhill, so it might go a little Oh faster. no. <laughs> oh no, this is scary, actually. So where are we? I don't know. Honey. I don't quite know where we are. Oh, we're taking a big... We made it to the Wrigley Mansion here? No, I haven't seen that. Okay, it's scary when you're going downhill. <laughs> yeah, somewhere up here is supposed to be Mount Ada, which is where the Wrigley family is like there, kind of where they lived, with the mansion. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but I don't see it. Maybe it's up here. Oh, here it is. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, 
Do we take that golf cart up there? It looks like he's taking the golf cart up there. Are we gonna attempt it? Yeah. Do you wanna go up there? Uh, no. No, 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 no. no. Uh, okay, let's it. <laughs> That's the whole reason we got the golf cart. No, I think we're going to botanical gardens or something. Oh, are we not supposed to go up here? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I think this is like a bed and breakfast now. Oh. So these golf carts might be taking people to the bed and breakfast. I, I'm sure there's a loop. I'm sure we're fine. I'm sure everything. That was scary. <laughs> we're just we're turning just around. Turn around. <laughs> okay. Look at this house. This is nice. The Wrigley family knew how to do it. Probably had incredible views too. stressed out as he does a three-point turn in a golf cart. By three-point, we mean six-point. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought we were allowed to come up to that in real life. Uh, I mean, on the map that we can go here. No, it just said it was a point oh. of a sight. All right. All right, I didn't hit anybody. I guess that's good. Uh, we good? We're good. Whoa. This is a view. Yeah, that right there is the view, guys. Well, okay, now I can see why how there's like 4,000 people living here. Yeah. Look at how many houses. Because it's fun and stressful all at the same time. <laughs> Mostly fun. That trash can looks like RTD2. It's like a little oh, wow. head cemetery or something? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Now this island's officially creepy. So right now we're headed up that yellow road and we're going up to H, which is a botanical garden. And I think it has some good views of this island. So uh, this is one of the things that I was told that it was not as easy to get up to if you were walking. There's also a shuttle I think that might take you for $2, but a golf cart is more fun. Come on. More fun than walking. Where did Peter go? I don't know. Peter! <laughs> he turned into a lounge fly. Okay, so let's park our golf cart and then let's go into the, let's see some gardens that are botanical. Yeah, let's walk around for like five minutes. Five minutes later. Ordinary Adventure Pro Tip, if you come up here to the botanical gardens, bring yourself $8 per person and bring yourself some time, which we don't have because we're renting a golf cart which is, places to go. Yeah, they charge you by the hour. Let's go explore more of the island. In the merchandise over there, they had a bunch of the bison. So I'm guessing that might be where the bison conservatory is. Maybe the botanical gardens. I probably should have done more research on this. Um, oh my God. <laughs> we drove like right by it. And I was like, It was like looking at butt. Yeah. Rudolph, you gotta go to the North Pole. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have red, red down on it. Oh, he's licking his butt. It's just like Gizmo. Oh my God, he looks just like a little <laughs> cutie. <laughs> oh my God, how cool is that? Just on the side of the road. Yeah. Like look, like we're just driving down there. <laughs> okay, we'll leave you to it. Have a good day, bye-bye. Yeah, tell Santa we said hi. Yep. Love that. Look, there's another deer. Oh, there's two more deers. Oh, my deer. Okay, we're going up our biggest hill yet. Oh, come on, little guy. <laughs> I think I can. 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 Oh, wow. Look at the fog really covering. Yeah, the fog is rolling in. Wow. I don't think we're going to get the best scenic view from up here today. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, we're approaching what they call the scenic view. It's a scenic view of fog, it looks like, but... We're still gonna take that in. I think it's right here. Ah, yes. The scenic oh, view the of fog. We'd gotten up here like an hour I earlier. Know, we were too slow. It's kind of cool looking though, honestly, because like all the the palm trees and stuff sticking out through yeah. the fog. Yeah, that's cool. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Not creepy at all. So we just took some photos. Insert them in here. 
<laughs> Does it look lovely with the fog in the background? I think so. I love it. Okay, where to? You tell me you're in charge of the map. I thought you were going to say, get in, loser. Get in, loser. We're going back to the cruise ship eventually. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, so that's the zip line right here. Heck no. You wouldn't do that? No. Over there? No, not in a million years. <laughs> you wouldn't do it? I'm so happy we didn't decide to do that today. <laughs> Never. You should find on the, the last cruise. Yeah, that, this is way more. This is over a canyon. Yeah. No way. Sorry. It's not happening. So now we're driving into the fog on windy small streets. It's a little scary. Thank, thankfully, it's a one way road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Okay, this is yeah. terrifying. What if one of those big birds jumps Stop out? Stop it! I know! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think of. Normally that would be a really good view. Yeah. But, I guess. Oh, you can see the water kind of down yeah, there. Yeah, that's so creepy. Wow. Dang, this would have been like such a good view. Yeah. I can imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like this all of a sudden? <laughs> Look, this is where we had lunch. Oh yeah. Right there. Okay, which way do we go? I think I have to go around this roundabout and then we go this way? Sure. Why is it so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Oh wow, you can't even see the water anymore. Look at that. So right here is the casino. It's not actually a casino. It's like a movie theater, like an old timey movie theater. It looks like they're gonna have a production of A Christmas Carol sometime this month. I think it's three o'clock. Yeah, I think it's three o'clock. Okay. Let's head on back. Back where we started. Oh yeah. To return the golf cart. We did it. I'm honestly very proud of us. Would you recommend doing this again? Yes, 100%. It was yeah. so much fun. Yeah, the only thing I'd say is it's kind of expensive, so don't expect to get out of your golf cart that much. You know, it's more just a drive and tour for like an hour. Uh oh. Now that we're all done with our scenic tour, we deserve a drink because we are no longer driving. So we're gonna check out Luau Larry's where they have a popular, famous Catalina Island cocktail. That's Ken, the co-founder of Luau Larry's. Wait, why is his name not Larry? Isn't that weird? Don't question it, okay? At Luau Larry's, it's basically like a tropical tiki kind of vibe to it. They even have like the secret room that's like in a cave. What's going on there? I don't know. But you might see people around Catalina Island wearing this hat. <laughs> and you get this hat in only one way. It's if you order their signature drink here that was invented on Catalina Island. And that drink is the Wiki Whacker. And that has Cruzan aged light rum, carrot brandy, pineapple slash orange juice, and grenadine, and you get a hat or a sticker. Which one did you choose? They didn't even ask me, they just gave me the hat. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is kind of like a cousin to the bushwhacker, but and it looks very tropical. Yeah, it looks like a Peter drink if I ever saw one. Yeah, let's try it. I think the pour was very strong in this. <laughs> very strong, this is totally my kind of thing. If you like orange pineapple kind of drinks, get this. And by the way, if you're at Catalina Island, you have to get this. <laughs> and then you get stuck with this hat, and then you're walking around the island wearing a stupid hat. I don't want yeah. a stupid hat. We were going to get it before the golf ride, but we don't want the hat to blow off in the wind. <laughs> I'll give this... I'll give it a 5 out of 5, Peter. Whoa! For the hat? Just for the novelty. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. But you got <laughs> another signature drink on the island. I did. But wait, can you hold up your drink? <laughs> a 
Love it. And for my drink, I ordered the buffalo milk. This is Pinnacle Vodka Kahlua Cream de Cocoa Milk and Fresh Bananas. And this is actually the signature drink of Catalina Island. So in the 1970s, this drink was invented by a bartender named Michael Harbour. He was known for creating special drinks at his bar called the Harbour Reef. He just came up with this concoction, called it the buffalo milk after we already talked about how this island's kind of famous for the bison and the buffaloes that live here. And uh, it stuck and this is the recipe of the buffalo milk and it actually sounded really good. It tastes like a banana milkshake. You could really taste the milk and the banana. That's yeah, like the yeah it said that they use like fresh bananas in it. Yeah, that you could definitely tell. A little bit taste the Kahlua, you can't taste the vodka at all. There's a reason why this is the, the drink of Catalina Island. This is good stuff, man. Mm. Oh, what a perfect ending to our day here on Catalina Island, if I do say so myself. It's a five out of five. How could you give it anything less? <laughs> so does that mean Luau Larry gets uh, an Ordinary Adventure star? to be the star. <laughs> but does it look better on me or Peter? Everything looks better on you. That's the correct answer. <laughs> I think it's time to head back to our big boat. Say goodbye to our little island life. Okay, back to the cruise ship. It's out there. You can't see it because of the fog. Mine, 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 mine. Welcome back, mine, to ordinary mine, mine adventures. Mine. But he's, he's not even talking. Mine, mine. <laughs> I thought, I always like have these things in my mind that I think are going to be so funny and they <laughs> never are. So. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you and your whole outfit. <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> my, my hat? Even my hat? I just can't take you seriously. You keep talk, he keeps talking to me. He's like, what do you want to do now? And it's just like, who are you? It's this island, Peter. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> oh my god, they dedicated a park to Peter Parker's uncle. Oh, I was thinking that was Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. Old Ben. Old Ben Kenobi. Oh, maybe it's for both of them. Is this our new favorite place? <laughs> There's no sea lions here, but we found a statue of a sea lion. We did it better. The statue of Kidra. Well, we found we found Gizmo earlier in the form of a deer. Pixel. Now we found Pixel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Pixel. Oh, it turns out old Ben isn't Peter Parker's uncle or Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was a real character who was in Avalon from the 1800s to the 1920s and, and uh, what, unusually friendly seal. Aww. Wow. That's so cute. <laughs> they dedicated a statue to him. That makes me so happy. I wonder what happened to him after 1920. He died. Oh. He probably has a bunch of relatives out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually. <laughs> I said that. It's that a was a joke long time. That was a hundred years ago. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What a sweetie. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they recreated this from photos or, or what. <laughs> no. I don't know. Come on. Is this also dedicated to Old Ben? Yes. This is Old Ben Park. Oh yeah. So look, there's like a little kid feeding Old Ben. There's Old Ben's family. People love to feed Old Ben. I feel like all the photos are just people feeding Old Ben. No wonder Old Ben was so, like... Happy? Yeah. yeah. People, people here you loved feed him. me, I get happy. <laughs> it's funny how many people have the wiki wax hats. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see the island anymore. When we got off this morning, it was like a beautiful view. These are the best towel animals we've ever gotten. <laughs> this is a monkey, but what's awesome about this, okay, first of all, yes, butt check, it looks good, but come here. It has eyes again, but they're all like bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wearing a hat. <laughs> this is just like,
like the little thing that goes over the glass, glasses. Okay, she's oh. officially gotten herself like the, the best tip. Yeah. <laughs> like how he's like just hanging. It's so cute. If you want to see the other videos from this trip, we'll put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Curtis Dudley, Jackie Saldana, Quaid, and Angela Sorby. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.